All right, I got that TA lever locked and loaded. Now, I have not used this torque amplifier ever since I've owned this tractor, and I bought this tractor, I don't know, I lose track of time. Let's call it four years ago. But that lever's been off there ever since. A uh, long time ago, I had to fix. There's a yoke up in there with the throttle and all that nonsense. And I had to take this off to get the sheet metal off. I just never put this back on there. So we're going to take this for a shake and make sure that that TA's still working. I believe it is. And then we're going to talk about gas tractors and a little trick of the trade to get them to run again when they quit when your fuel tank gets clogged at the petcock. All right, so a guy named Jason got a hold of me and he says, you know, I got a farm all 300 and it's not working right. And, uh, you know, he told me what it was doing. It'd run for a minute and then die. Start it up, run for a minute, whatever, die. And I'm thinking, well, usually a coil, coils start to go bad. You know, they get hot. And uh, that's your coil there. This one's been replaced since I've owned it. Um, they, You know, they get hot your tractor dies. The tractor cools off, the tractor will fire back up again, when the coil cools off, and it'll run for so long till that coil gets hot and it'll die. But it's usually not a minute. And I asked him, I says, what's the bottom of your sediment bowl look like? He said, crystal clear. I said, okay. What's your tank look like? He said, clean. Clean as a whistle, as far as the eye can see. And see, and that's the problem. As far as the eye can see, isn't very good. I'm going to tell you, in your carburetor, there's little teeny weeny ports. And they're not microscopic, but they are tiny, tiny ports. And it doesn't take much to clog a carburetor. And it doesn't take much to stop flow from coming out of the tank right here at the top of that petcock. Okay? And a little trick, most of you guys are going to know it. It's no big deal. Take this bowl off here. Take a hose. Um, I'm going to call it maybe quarter inch. Put it where on the outflow of the tank on this, um, on the petcock itself. Open this up. As you're opening the petcock, blow into the tank. Keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing. Open it up all the way. Hopefully you got enough breath. And then as you're blowing, close this petcock shut. Okay. Put your bowl back on. Fire the tractor up and run it. My gut tells me that that tractor's going to run for quite a while. And always, always, always keep that tank as full as possible. Seems like the most trouble you have is when the tank gets lower and the flakes or whatever you have in that tank that you can't see, by the way, uh, collect and come toward this outflow. That's when you have your problems that's when you're gonna have your trouble. Blow back up into the tank, and I'm telling you this, Jason, with the farm all 300, blow back up into the tank, get that stuff away from there, and keep your tank full, and that's the best you're gonna be able to do until you take that tank off there and clean it out. Let's go for a shake, let's test out this TA lever. Let's see if we even got a TA on this thing. All right, turn the key on, it's a hot day, no choke, will it start? Of course it'll start, it runs like a top. We're gonna go in high, test this out here. Let's go in. We'll go in high too. Yep, and we're in direct drive obviously. Start right off in direct drive. chicken coop and back up my little driveway hill and then pull that lever back. Plus this ground down here is flat. Got 
the IH wine. Go direct drive again. Yeah. Well, we got three quarters of a tank. Three quarters of a tank, Hank. Let's try this hill right here. Use the TA lever. Get to the top. To get the engine to bog down, work a little bit before I pull back on that lever. Lever, lever. What this lever does, it drops you down a half a gear. Just gives you a little more torque. All right, we're climbing. There you go. Yeah, it's a working for sure. Definitely got that international wine to it. Stretch its legs out up here a little bit. Get on the flat. There you go. Yep. Oh, little incline got a TA. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we're up on the flat. You ever own one of these tractors, you want to keep them in direct drive. Keep that lever forward. I see a lot of them parked and stuff, and they're in the torque amplifier position, and that's not good for them. Hey, the moral of the story is, you got a tractor like this, 56, 66, 86, 06 series, you peel the sheet metal down, put your TA lever back on, and don't take three years to do it. Let's go see how the chicks are doing. All right, it's been 24 hours, and uh, so I put some chick starter in here. Mom's, she's eating it, but really what she's doing, she's trying to teach the young chicks how to eat. And they're seeing her peck. I'm waiting for the first peck. And by the way, these will be golden comets as adults. I haven't sexed them or anything, so I just whatever whatever they are I'll, I'll react accordingly but uh yep she's teaching them how to eat they're just little fuzz balls 24 hours old yep there they go there you go i know the one got at least a little pellet yep yep there you go She's showing her. So I'll call this the chick's first meal. There you go. Yep. Yeah, I, I come out here tomorrow, they'll be eating like hogs. The one over there is eating, or trying to. I'm sure they're not that hungry, because what they do is they absorb the yolk. And uh, I don't even know if it's been 24 hours. The one hatched about 24 hours ago, but the uh, one after that's probably, I don't know, 18 hours old. Well, like I say, I'll bet by tomorrow you come out here and they're going crazy on some chick starter.